Hi, everyone. Welcome again to IV English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today, November seventh, we have this great article called "The Teddy Bears of the Sea." And oh, is that an accurate characterization? They're so cute. Yeah, 很可爱啊。那我们的中文标题呢是“海洋泰迪熊踏上”。拯救地球之路啊！那这个呃，海洋这个海，我们有给它用个这个引号引起来，然后呢，踏上的踏，我们也把它引起来，因为我们在讲了这一篇文章讲的是海踏这种动物，但是我们把它拆开来放在的标题里面，海洋泰迪熊踏上拯救地球之路。The Chinese title is so much more informative. Yeah. <laughs> the the English title is like they're cute, <laughs> and the Chinese title is they're so important to our ecosystem. <laughs> Both things are true, however.、Uh-huh. And we'll find out why after I read the whole article through. We will go back and explain and translate each sentence for you. Get ready. Sea otters are some of the most adorable creatures on the planet. Their heartwarming behavior and furry faces are enough to brighten the gloomiest of days. Anyone who has browsed through social media can attest to that. After watching videos of sea otters holding hands while they float sleepily in the water, sea otters float on their backs even while enjoying a meal by smashing shellfish against their chests. Mothers attend to their young while on their backs as well. Holding hands is one way sea otters keep themselves from drifting away from each other, but another method is to wrap themselves in kelp. This can be seen when they are resting together in large groups called rafts. Some researchers have spotted rafts made up of over one thousand sea otters, an encouraging number thanks to years of intervention and protection by the U.S. government. In the early 20th century, sea otters were on the verge of extinction, having been hunted for their thick and valuable fur. Yet now, with their numbers bouncing back, sea otters are being recognized as a keystone species, meaning they are crucial to maintaining healthy ecosystems and the overall health of the environment. Without them, Kelp forests, which absorb enormous amounts of carbon dioxide and provide sustenance for fish and other sea animals, would be destroyed by hungry swarms of sea urchins. The sea otters help keep the sea urchin population in check by consuming them, allowing kelp forests to flourish. Researchers have noted that the influence of sea otters extends to every species within the coastal marine environment. It seems this species was saved just in time, not only helping to save ecosystems but also aiding our planet by decreasing carbon dioxide levels. So, sea otters are some of the most adorable creatures on the planet. This is a completely true sentence. 好 ，sea otters 就是海獭，它是怎么样？这个 on the planet 就是指地球，地球上。最可爱的动物之一，哈 ，adorable 就是很可爱 ，extremely charming or lovable 啊。那所以我想大家对这个话都没有没有什么意见。Their heartwarming behavior, ah,、uh, the way they behave, the way they act, ah,、uh, makes people feel good. It's it's like watching、uh, kittens or puppies, something like that. And sea otters have furry faces. They have a lot of fur on their bodies because they spend a lot of time in the water. And they have to keep warm because they are mammals. This is enough to brighten the gloomiest of days. Again, many people who feel down, oh, I'll I'll、uh, go onto the internet and watch what do they call cat videos or whatever, <laughs>、uh, mm. because、uh, they they lighten people's moods. They're funny or they're heartwarming. Hmm. Ah,、uh, heartwarming 就是暖人心房的啊。令人这个欣喜的哈 ，emotionally moving 啊，尤其是 especially causing tender feelings， 让人觉得哇，这个 heartwarming。通常听到那些哇这种感觉，那就是 heartwarming 啊，让你觉得很温暖。所以他们的很让人觉得很温暖的这种 behavior， 还有他们的 furry 毛茸茸的脸 faces are enough to 就够了，足以干嘛呢？他们都足以 brighten， 就是使变得明亮。brighten 使什么变得明亮呢？ The gloomiest of days 就是让最沉闷、最阴郁的日子都能够明亮。啊 ，gloomy 这个字就是 dark 啊，或者是 causing or feeling depression， 让你觉得很阴郁、很沉闷、很黑暗的。
Um, that sea otters make you feel better? Um, anyone who has browsed through social media can attest to that. Everybody who's spent any time on social media has definitely seen videos of sea otters holding hands while they float sleepily in the water. And if you are one of the few people who has not seen this, like Bruce, go and Google sea otters holding hands and you will see these videos which are heartwarming, cute, and will make you go, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> 嗯，好，所以呢，这个任何一个人 who has browsed through social media, browse through 就是浏览啊 ，scan through 社群媒体。任何一个人只要他浏览过社群媒体呢，他都可以 attest to that. 好 ，attest to 就是 to affirm to be correct, true or genuine. 所以 attest 它这个字源其实就是 to be witness 的意思，就是你可以证实啊，你可以证明说。这件事情是真的，叫做 can attest to that。好，那都每一个人上过网、浏览过社群媒体人都可以证实啊，这个 Seattle's 啊，呃、啊、，Seattle's 啊，他们真的非常的这个暖人心房。那怎么样的时候可以证明呢？你只要看过了一些海獭呢，他们 holding hands， 他们手牵着手啊 ，while while they are floating sleepily。啊，他们 float 就是漂浮在海面上面。那 steeply 就懒洋洋的，不一定睡着，但懒洋洋的，可能睡着，可能没睡着。In the water, when I feel gloomy, of course I don't go online. I just look in the mirror to feel. Wouldn't that make you sadder? <laughs> For a lot of people, that does. I was going to say, I thought you were going to say that you watched your cats. Uh, well, we have one cat left.、Oh, okay,、uh, but you hang out with your cat because that's what I used to do. I used to hang out with my cat when I felt gloomy, and、uh, watching him run around like an idiot after a string was always deeply entertaining, and、mm-hmm. I would feel better after. Yeah. Oh, that's company. Company. Yeah. Sure. 所以人其实需要伴的，心情不好的时候需要的就是伴啊。那刚刚这个 Bruce 啊，当然我们都在开玩笑。<laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Sea otters float on their backs. Float is not to sink.、Uh, your at least your head is above the water, so you, you can breathe. Stay on the surface of the water, right? And spe- when we say float, we expect the whole body is on the half surface. Half the body, of course, is、mm-hmm. on top of the water. The other half is just under it.、Um, so if they float on their backs, that means they lo- they can look up at the sky at the same time, and they can enjoy a meal in this position, floating on their back. By smashing,、uh, using small rocks or stones to break shellfish. Sh- shellfish are not fish;、uh, they're like worms、uh, with a very hard covering over them, and they're delicious. I thought they're more related to spiders, though. No, they're not arachnids. So shrimp, shrimp are not arachnids, but aren't they cousins? No, yeah, but shellfish and shrimp are not related either. Shellfish are clams, oysters, oa.、Uh, Well, All right. Yeah, I've been schooled. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just mixed up the words. Yeah, shellfish. 其实我们讲的贝类就是贝类。Right. Yeah, they have a hard cover on them. That's their shell.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're、yeah. not fish. They're not related to fish at all. And、uh, if you're on your back, where are you going to break、uh, the shell? It has to be on your chest. That would hurt. No, no. They have a rock. They put a rock on their chest and they smash the shellfish on the rock. Oh, yeah. They're <laughs> not thought... he-men or something. Do you know they also have favorite rocks? Like if you take、yeah. their rock away, they will go around looking for it. Like where's my rock? <laughs> wow! They don't just use any rock. Ah, ah. So this place is very fun. This place is talking about this. Uh, otters float on their backs, is they are on the face, floating on the water. Ah, even they are enjoying a meal. Enjoying a meal. They are eating food while they are on the face. How do they eat? They are smashing. They smash to smash to shatter violently. Ah, this is smashing. They are smashing the shellfish, the shellfish, the shellfish, the shellfish against their chest. 就在他们这个胸膛上面，把这个贝类把它打碎。好，那刚刚这布鲁老师说那会痛吧？那这个 Angela 老师说哦，没有没有，这个他们通常会垫一块石头，他们会放一个石头在他们胸膛上面，拿来敲这个贝类。好，那这个石头呢，事实上这个海獭他们都会有自己喜最喜欢的石头啊，用来吃饭的那颗石头。那如果说你那个石头不见了，他会到处去找，奇怪奇怪，我的石头跑哪里去了啊？所以很可爱。So mothers attend to their young while on their backs as well, which makes sense because if you're lying on your back, you can put your baby on your front and sort of take care of it. And 
That just sounds so idyllic. <laughs> Can I just float in the sea with my baby on my on my stomach? Yeah. Like that sounds so nice. Yeah, idyllic 就是很有那种田园式、很甜式、很这个舒适、那个很棒的那种感觉啊。所以 I D Y L L I C. Oh yeah. I D Y L L I C. Idyllic. Ah,、uh, now mothers attend to their young. Ah,、uh, the 妈妈呢 attend to to take care 或者 give attention. 妈妈照顾他们的 young young 就指他们的这个小孩。那 young 这个字啊，当名词的时候，在这种这个句子里面这种用法，所以要注意，它是 plural 的意思，它是复复数的意思。那你可以解释 young 就是 offspring， 但是你要注意 offspring 也是一样，它单复数同形，它是可数的，但单数跟复数长得是一样的。所以这个妈妈照顾他们的这个后代啊，也是一样 ，on their backs 也是啊，这个躺着躺在水上，浮在水上。Holding hands is one way sea otters keep themselves from drifting away from each other. It's like、uh, wassail when when、yeah. uh, the mother or father holds the hand of the child when they cross the street. It's exactly this. You don't want to be separated from each other. But another method to keep them from drifting apart is to wrap themselves in kelp. When we wrap ourselves, we Turn something around us. For us, it's a piece of clothing or a rope. If you're、uh, climbing a mountain, to to wrap is to cover or secure yourself. Hmm. So holding hands, 手牵手呢 is one way in which sea otters keep themselves from drifting away from each other. 也就手牵手呢是一个方法。这个方法是海獭可以 keep themselves from 如何如何就避免怎样的意思，让他们自己避免。那避免什么呢？避免 drifting away from each other， 避免他们从彼此身边飘走。好，那这个 drift 就是飘的意思哈。To be carried along by currents 啊，那 of water 或者 currents of air， 那在这里是当然就是 water， 不会被水流啊飘走。所以他们为了怕彼此飘散了，他们就手牵手，就可以 keep themselves from drifting away from each other 啊。但是另外一个方法，他们避免。被飘走的另外方法就是 wrap themselves in kelps. Kelp 就是巨藻，巨大的藻类啊，他们就会把自己 wrap 就包裹，把他们自己包在巨大的藻类里面。Is kelp basically the high dye that you can get in the markets here? I think kelp is bigger. I thought kelp is huge. All right. So it's not kelp is high dye, it's high dye, very similar, but it's very big. It's bigger. Okay. So this wrapping themselves in kelp can be seen when they are resting together in large groups called rafts.、Um, a raft is another word. A raft is a word that means、um, a boat, a flat boat made out of logs. It's basically、mm-hmm. a platform that floats. So to apply this word to a group of <laughs> otters floating in the water is kind of hilarious. Yeah. Ah,、uh, this raft is. 这个平底船啊，就是筏，中文讲的筏。所以海面上面如果有一群这个海獭在那里手牵着手，或者是包在一起飘的话，那就很像 raft， 很像那个木筏或者竹筏那样子。所以他说 ，this can be seen， 这个景象可以被看到。当海獭们 are resting together in large groups， 他们这个大大量的一大群的海獭一起休息的时候，你就可以看到了。那这个时候我们就称它为 rafts。啊，称这个状，称这个现象，或称这个一大群一大群的叫做 raft， 叫做筏。Some researchers have spotted or noticed or seen rafts made up of over one thousand sea otters, an encouraging number. It's、uh, a little unexpected for sea mammals to have so many in one place at one time, but it's encouraging because,、uh, thanks to because years of intervention and protection. By the U.S. government have helped to save the sea otter.、Uh, intervention means to literally to come between something and its and an action. You stop an action、uh, in order to protect, save, or help someone. Yeah, intervention 就是干涉或者是介入啊 ，interference 啊，或者 mediation 啊，或者是 intervening. 那 intervention 这个字，刚刚 Bruce 老师讲，它意思基本上就是 to come between， 因为 inter 是 between， vent 是 come 的意思，字根上面。好，例如说会议啊， convention 就是一起来， come 就 together， vent 就 come， so everybody come 啊，大家一起来开会。好，那 invention 也是一样，发明也是一样， something that come upon， something that comes upon you， 就是你 you find that thing， 所以那是 invention 啊。好，那我们来看看这个句，他说有一些。
研究人员呢 have spotted， 他们甚至被看到过。Spot 就是看到的意思，通常是看到 something that is difficult to see or find， 啊，或者是 find somebody or something you're looking for， 这是 spot， 啊，所以有一些 research 曾经见到过、看到过 rafts made up of， 它组成是由什么组成呢？有超过一千只的海獭组成的，哇，那表示这个海獭的这个数量够多。所以这是个 encouraging number， 这是一个令人感到振奋的一个数字，一千只啊。那 thanks to 这多亏了美国政府多年来的介入啊，跟保护，就是美国政府介入，我们要保护海獭。然后呢，因为这样子，所以现在有这么多海獭。So now we get to the sad part of our article, where we talk about how, like so many other things, in the early 20th century, people started to break the world very badly. Because the it turns out sea otters are super important. Not only are they super cute, they're important. Anyway, so in the early twentieth century, sea otters were on the verge of extinction. If you're on the verge of, you're on the edge of. You're right there on the border between yes and no. And、um, extinction means that there weren't going to be any anymore. They were almost killed completely off. The reason is they had thick and valuable fur, and people wanted to wear their furs, and they went a little overboard because capitalism. 嗯，好，所以呢，因为这个当然是资本主义了哈。那我们来看到他说，在二十世纪早期的时候呢，海獭 were on the verge of extinction， 濒临绝种，叫做 to be on the verge of extinction。Verge 就是 edge 或者 margin 的意思，边缘啊。我们也可以说 on the brink of extinction 啊 ，b r i n k 啊。当然你也可以说 on the edge of extinction 也可以啊 ，e d g e。好，然后呢，他们濒临绝种，那为什么呢 ？Having been hunted， 因为在二十世纪之前，他们已经被啊 ，having been hunted 就是。这是完成式的、完成型的，所以它已经被猎杀。为什么呢 ？For 因为它们的 thick， 它们很厚的，而且 valuable 有价值的皮毛。Yet now with their numbers bouncing back, that means increasing to、uh, a level which used to be and then was lost, but now they're back. They're bouncing back.、Uh, sea otters are being recognized now. People understand that. Uh, they're not just cute little creatures; they are also a keystone species. And what's that? That means that they are crucial. They are necessary. They are needed to maintain healthy ecosystems. They are a necessary、uh, and positive force in the habitat that they live in. But crucial means irreplaceable kinds of necessary.、Mm. Yeah,、um, just. Super necessary. Super necessary. <laughs>、mm. And uh, uh, in their ecosystems, without them, it would hurt the health of their environment. Not just for them, but for the plants,、uh, other、uh, plants, and other animals.、Uh, the overall health. That means throughout the ecosystem. 整体的啊，整个的 ecosystem. 好，那我们看到这个句，他说呢 ，now 现在啊 ，now 放在句首的时候，通常是表示跟过去对比啊。所以现在呢 ，with their numbers. With 就是一个附带状况，状况是他们的数量 bouncing back 弹回来了 ，to recover quickly。他们现在数量已经回来了，所以这个时候呢 ，sea otters 啊，这些海獭 are being recognized as 被大家认为是就是 being 表示 it's still going on， 大家还在在在这样的一个 process 当中，大家认为它是个 a keystone species。Keystone 本来是拱顶石，好就 arch， 好 a central stone at the top of an arch， 就是一个拱顶，一个拱形的建建构物的顶的那一块石头。这个石头会 locking the whole together， 它可以把整个这个结构把它固定住，所以它是 a central supporting element。啊，那在我们讲这个 keystone。Species 指的就是对环境的影响啊，跟它的生物量不成比例的一个物种，就它不多，可是对环境影响非常大。那这种物种对于保持生态群落的结构有重要的作用，会影响生态系中其他很多的生物，而且会决定群落中这个生态群落中各种物种的种类跟数量。所以它本身可能不是那么多，但它有非常重要的一个地位。所以它是一个这个呃很重要的 keystone species。Meaning, 也就 they are crucial to 啊 crucial 就是非常重要不可取代的。那这个字的字根呢、啊、是 cross， 就是 cross， 就是十字路口。那你在十字路口，接下来
，你往东边走，往往哪一条，你选哪一条路，有决定性的影响。所以 crucial 就是关键性的 ，extremely important， 好像在十字路口那种感觉啊。那他们是非常重要，对于什么很重要呢 ？Are crucial to 这个出是介系词，所以各位看到后面 maintaining 加了一个 ing， 对于维持健康的生态系统，还有整体的环境的整个的健康都非常非常重要。Without them, without sea otters, kelp forests, which absorb enormous amounts of carbon dioxide and provide sustenance for fish and other sea animals, would be destroyed by hungry swarms of sea urchins. So, without、um, sea otters, kelp forests would be destroyed, and this is bad because they absorb carbon dioxide and they cre- create a lot of food for a lot of animals. Without them, 这个字在这里是用假设语气与事实相反的假设语气的用法。因为事实上我们有他们，那这只假设没有的话呢？那 kelp forest 就是海藻的森林 ，which 就是指这个海藻森林呢 ，absorb 它会吸收 enormous amounts of carbon dioxide， 它吸海藻森林吸收大量大量的二氧化碳。而且 provide 提供 sus 呃 sustenance 在这里其实基本上是 food 啊、uh, something that sustains life or health 啊、uh, 所以提供大量的食物给呃提供食物给鱼还有其他的海海洋生物的海藻森林呢如果没有 sea otters 他们 would be destroyed 海藻森林就会被摧毁掉被谁摧毁掉呢被 hungry swarms of sea urchins sea urchins 就是海胆啊、uh, swarms 一群啊、uh, 所以如果没有这个海獭来吃这些海胆的话呢，那这个海藻森林就会被大量大量的饥饿的海胆所消灭掉，所吃掉。The sea otters help keep the sea urchin population in check by consuming them. Without the sea otters, the sea urchins would reproduce; they would grow in number and cause larger and larger problems. But they are eaten by. Uh, sea otters, so their numbers are under control, and that helps the kelp forests because they're not being eaten by the sea urchins, and they can flourish. They can grow in abundance. Yeah, ah, so we say this. Uh, sea otters are keystone species. Ah, because they eat the kelp, the kelp will not damage the kelp forests. So the kelp forests can provide a lot of fish and other marine animals, ah, food and other things, and they can absorb carbon dioxide. So we say that the kelp forests can Keep something in check, 就是抑制某个东西。他们抑制这个海胆的数量啊。The sea urchin population. 他们可以抑制这个 sea urchin population. 怎么抑制呢 ？By consuming them. Consume 就是 to take in as food. 就是 eat 啊，可以吃掉这个海胆。那这样子就可以 allowing 就可以使得海藻森林能够 flourish， 能够茂盛的生长。Now researchers have noted. They've、uh, they've noticed they've written down that the influence of sea otters extends to every species within the coastal marine environment. The fact that sea otters do what they do affects every other animal in their ecosystem. Hmm. So, research report mentioned, noted, ah,、uh, make mention of, 或者是这个 indicate, 甚至于 write down, 啊、uh, ，他们写下来 Sea otters, 海獭的影响 extends to 它可以扩展到 every species 每一个物种 within the coastal marine environment 在沿海海洋生态环境之中呢，他们会影响到所有的物种，就是海獭会影响到所有的物种。It seems this species was saved just in time. This species now is referring back to our sea otters. They were saved from extinction just in time. If if、uh, they had not been protected, we would not only lose sea otters, but、uh, the the balance of the ecology would be、uh, destroyed. Not only helping to save ecosystems, as I just said, but also aiding our planet by decreasing carbon dioxide levels, because sea otters eat sea urchins, which eat kelp. And kelp、uh, absorbs a lot of CO2, taking it out of the water and the atmosphere. 啊，所以呢，似乎这个物种就是海獭呢 ，was saved. 他们被拯救 just in time. 啊，所以美国政府介入拯救他们是很及时的拯救了。不但他们帮忙可以 save ecosystems， 可以拯救生态系统，而且他们可以 aiding our planet. 他们帮助我们的星球，怎么帮呢 ？By 啊、uh, ，decreasing 降低啊、uh, 二氧化碳的含量啊、uh, ，carbon dioxide levels. 
Okay, we have some questions here for mm-hmm. you. Number one, which of the following is not an activity sea otters do while floating on their backs? 以下哪一个不是海獭仰面浮在水上时会做的事情 ？Of course, the answer is C. Construct kelp forests. 答案是 C. 建立海藻森林啊，海藻森林不是他们建立的，他们会保护，但是不会建立。Number two, what can be inferred from the second and third paragraphs? 从第二段。还有第三段可以得到什么样的推论呢 ？The answer is D. If sea otters were gone, God forbid, ecosystems would collapse. 答案是 D. 如果没有海獭，生态系统会崩溃。Three, according to the passage, why are sea otters considered a keystone species? 根据本文，为什么海獭被视为一个关键物种 ？Our answer is B. They are essential to a healthy marine ecosystem. 答案是 B， 他们对于一个健康的海洋生态系统而言至关重要。And number four, which of the following is a finding of researchers regarding sea otters? 以下哪一个是研究员对于海獭的发现呢 ？The answer is C. Their presence helps with slowing down global warming. 答案是 C 啊，他们的存在对于减缓全球暖化有帮助。Well, we hope you enjoyed and learned something about our lovely species, the sea otters. We have lots of great articles for you every month. Please join us whenever you like on 